Welcome back to the channel. This is another video on the accounting based profitability analysis in SAP S4 HANA or margin analysis. In the last video, I explained how we can configure a user defined characteristic. In the video today, I will start explaining the different ways we can use to derive a certain value into the characteristic. And there are mainly five different ways in SAP derivation rules, table lookup, move, clear, and enhancements. Over the next videos, I will explain each of them one by one. Today, I will start with the derivation rules, how we can use them, and I will also do a quick demo on SAP S4HANA 2020. To maintain characteristic derivation, go to transaction KEDR. Then insert the operating concern and choose costing based or account based. My operating concern has only account based, so it will be chosen by default. Then click on change and click on create. Here you can find the different five ways that I just mentioned in the beginning of the video. We have derivation rules, table lookup, move, clear, and enhancement. Today I will start with derivation rules, so select it and then click on OK. And I will go back to my example that we have a characteristic for the region. And I would like this characteristic to be filled based on the city of the customer. So the system should check what is the customer city and based on it, it should derive the value of the region, south, north, uh, east and west. So here we have the source field and we have the target field. The source field will be the city. So open this and here we can look for this field. In my system, the field I will use as reference is called region. So region, state, province, county. And this field is maintained in the customer master data. I will show you how. And then based on this field, I want SAP to derive the value of my region characteristic. So this is our source field. And I would also like to add the country because the region is based on every country. So here I will add another field, which is mm, KM land, this one, country key. And the target field will be my characteristic that I defined in the last video. And this characteristic is WWRG2, this one, region two. So now this is my source field. This is the field that SAP will check. And based on the value here, SAP will fill the target field. Then we can go to the condition tab. And here we mention what are the conditions that must be met for the derivation rule to work. So for example, this derivation rule is only valid for a certain company code or for certain customers or for any selection criteria you would like to use. In my example, I would like to only maintain it for my company code. So I will not impact any other company codes in the system. Here I will choose the field. So click here and then the field that maintains, that includes the value of the company code is BUKRS, this one. And I would like the derivation rule to work only if the company code is equal. So here you can select equal to, not equal to, greater than, and so on. So the company code should be equal to my company code, which is AG01. So now I limited this derivation rule to my company code only. You can add as many conditions or selection criteria as you want. And then we can go to attributes. And here we maintain different attributes. The most important one here is issue error message if no value is found. This means that if the system tries to post any entry that should include this characteristic and SAP was not able to derive the value for any reason, it will give an error to the user and they cannot proceed. This can be a goods issue, a goods receipt, a sales order, a purchase order. So this is an, a real business transaction. So if you choose this one, you must be very careful because if you do this, SAP will stop the user in the middle of the transaction. So for example, they are doing a sales process to a customer that is waiting in line, for example, and then they get an error that a characteristic is not able, is not being derived correctly and they cannot proceed. So be very careful when you choose this one. Normally, we prefer not to select it and then SAP will proceed even if the value is not done, then we can do something that's called realignment of the of values. So SAP redrive any characteristics that had issues. This way is better because the system will continue the process normally and then at period end or when we try to fix the wrong values, we can do it on our own without having to stop any active processes. So be very careful when you choose this one. I will choose it now just to show you how it works. 
or maybe I'll keep it for the next video because the video today will be long enough. So in the video, in this example today, I'm asking SAP not to show any errors. And here I can also insert the step description. So this one will be region from field R region plus country. You can put any description you like. And then we maintain the, f the values. So click here, maintain rule values. Save changes, yes. And very simply, you say when the country and the region are this, I would like my characteristic to be filled with this. So here, for example, I would say that if the country is France and the region is 06, I would like my region, my characteristic, which is called region 2, to be south. And if the region is 75 and the country is also France, I would like this value to be north and so on. You can fill as many values as you want. Then save, go back. And now we can test this derivation rule before we actually start doing any processes. So you can select it and then click on this icon, test. And here you insert the values that will be transferred by the system and see if SAP will be able to derive the value of our characteristic. So now I would say that our customer is AGC01, for example. And let me first show you the master data of this customer. So if we open another screen and we open the business partner master data slash O business partner. And here I would like to show you the customer AGC01. And in the general data of the customer, in the business partner general data, here we have the region field. So now this customer has the region 06. Now let's go back to the other screen and let's test this derivation rule. The customer is AGC01. This customer has the region 06. And then I can click on derivation. See that I did not fill the company code. So I'm actually not fulfilling the condition that I maintained in the derivation rule. So now if I click on derivation and if we go down to check the region two characteristic, as you see, this field is empty. So the derivation didn't work. Why didn't the derivation work? We know because we did not maintain the company code, but let's say you do not understand why the derivation is not working. You can click on analyze derivation. And here you have the explanation of all the characteristic values you have in the screen. And you can look for our region field. So let's look here. Here it is. So derivation rule, step 19, derivation rule, region from region plus country. So if we open this one, you see here that origin is company code, content is empty, and it should equal to AG01. So the condition is not fulfilled. This is why the derivation rule was not implemented. Now let's go back. And this time I will insert the company code. So this is a simulation of the actual uh, posting that will happen when we actually do a transaction in the system after this. So the company code is AG01. Before I need to click on undo derivation before I update any fields. So undo derivation. And here we click, we insert AG01. And then click again on derivation. Now if we go down, here we have region to south. Again, if you go to analyze derivation, you will see why this happened. So here we have the condition. As you see, company code is AG01, condition is fulfilled. And here we have the source field, so region and land. So the region was 06. This is from the customer master data, as I showed you. And the country is FR, also from the customer master data. So the target field, WWRG2, region 2, content after is south. This is how derivation rules work. Now let's go back and click on continue and let's create a sales order to see how this actually will be posted in the system. To create a sales order, let's repeat again what we did in the last videos, slash OVA01, order type is OR, here the customer is AGC01, material is FG01 and the quantity 2. Now let's go to the item details here. 
go to account assignment and let's see what we have in the profitability segment even before we post the sales order you can see everything here so SAP now knows that the customers if is AGC01 products FG01 billing type and so on company codes AG01 now if we go down we have region 2 is south so now we see that the value is filled correctly and here also you can click on derivation and analyze derivation the SAP will explain all the values we have this is an actual transaction not a simulation now let's go back and let's say that I will change the customer to AGC02 which has a different region now let's go to item details again and go again to account assignment and click on profitability segment now this time the customer is AGC02 let's go down and the region has changed it to north because the, uh, the, zoo, the region here is 75 if you go down here you cannot see it from this scroll uh, let's up here it is so the region is 75 this is why region 2 is north so now you see how the derivation rule work, works in details let's click on continue and you can save the order now all the details you have seen have been posted to the universal journal Akadoka and you can open SE16N and the Akadoka table and you will see the records there I hope you found this video useful remember that all the videos related to margin analysis is saved in a playlist that you can find on the YouTube channel Inside this list, all the videos are arranged with sequential numbers. So if you are missing some videos, this means they are only available to channel members. If you would like to see them, you can join the channel membership program. And anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave me your comments and questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.